What's up guys, Hey King here bringing you another discussion video preview regarding the Capcom leak. So if you guys are aware of about a week ago or more perhaps, there was, a, there was a hacking incident and Capcom got a lot of their personal info and uh, schedules on what games they're making and, and everything that was leaked. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm talking so quiet, it's because it's freaking free in the morning. So yeah, I should be in bed right now. But since I don't have work tomorrow, yeah. I can do this <laughs> instead, but um, yeah. Let me let me just let me just get out because I actually wrote all of this down, by the way. And basically, from next year to 21 to 24, the schedule of all their games being planned or considered or in, I assume, uh, production or even pre-production are being are listed basically. So. Yeah, let me just pull. Let me just pull those out if I can. Uh, if I can find it. Uh, okay, here we go. Yeah, it's a long list. So first of all, things to keep in mind about this list it is kind of a disappointing list actually. Uh, some of it is relevant. This is mostly to do with Resident Evil. Okay, the stuff I want to talk about is Resident Evil concerned. Most of the other stuff I don't really care about. But first of all, there's no uh, Devil May Cry game coming out from 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 basically next year to to then there's nothing planned so no Devil May Cry 6 and that's mostly do I think that's most that's mostly to do with the fact that the I think the developer for that game is going to be working on another game and then right off that game's done he's going to be working on something else that makes a lot more sense so I'll go into that and there's no sadly this is the one I was hoping for crossing my fingers for I've been crossing my fingers for years now for this no Dino Crisis it, it, it pisses me off. It really upsets me because I've been, I've been praying for a Dino Crisis remake, uh, or a remake with Dino Crisis one and two, and uh, uh, maybe like a reimagining or proper sequel to the first two games that wraps, you know, Dylan's and Regina's plots all together. Oh, you know, wrap it all up. But no, nothing. After like what twenty decades. Nothing, nothing regarding Dino Crisis. If you'd think of the recent popularity of the Jurassic World movies, you know, Capcom would be sort of looking into that direction of let's bring dinosaur games back. You know, let's let's make that a thing. No, nope, not doing it. So that's sad. So no Devil May Cry, no Dino Crisis. So yeah, for those of you who are looking forward to that, not happening. But what we are getting instead in 21 are uh, Monster Hunter stories too. Apparently, don't I don't play Monster Hunter, so I don't really care. Uh, DGS 12, I think that's, is that the Ace Attorney games? I don't know, I don't, again, I don't play those. Shield, I don't know what the hell that is. And, okay, our first Resident Evil game, uh, that's coming out next year, apparently, uh, in, in the fourth quarter. So, that would be like, what, winter, perhaps, I think? Yeah, like, basically towards the end, towards the end of 2021. 20, and it's called Resident Evil Outrage. Not Resident Evil Outbreak. No, that was a mistranslation for anyone who read this. Uh, who read the early source for this or whatever and, and they assumed it's Outbreak, it's not. It's actually confirmed it to be Outrage. Uh, Doss Gollum himself, if you know who he is, he leaks a lot of the actual Capcom stuff and he's always accurate when it comes to Resident Evil slash Capcom related stuff and anything else and it's a bit 50-50. Mm, but when it comes to Resident Evil that he's accurate and he pretty much said that yeah this game is in existence, he confirmed this game is in existence, we don't know what it is though. Um, the assumption, the assumption is it's an online slash battle royale mode or, or multiplayer sort of game. Don't know. Uh, continuing on, we got a Regolith or whatever. Uh, that's probably a di under a different title. And then we got like some two other games, Indies 2 and an Indies 2 port coming out in 22. Uh, moving on, Dragon's Dogma 2. I've never played Dragon's Dogma. I've heard good things though. I mean. To be honest, I've not heard anything good things. I've just mostly heard it, it, it's a good game. That's it. Like, you know, I've got friends who are playing it. Like, this is a good game. I want a sequel to it. Uh, it looks like they're getting their wish because it's, it's supposedly coming out in 22. And it's it's done by the guy who does Devil May Cry. So he's going to be working on that game. And then you assume after that he'll probably be jumping onto Devil May Cry 6 or something. Nope. He's going to be doing something else, apparently. Uh, following on with that, we in the third quarter of 22, we got Street Fighter 6. I, again, not really a fan. I used to play the originals on PS1, but again, not a big fan of that. Rocket Man match. Apparently, this is Mega Man. Um, I don't know if, it, if in, in 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 Japan it's a different under a different name. Don't know. Okay, here's our second big Resident Evil news: Resident Evil 4 remake confirmed. Well, not con 
it's pretty much confirmed at this point. I was hoping that it wasn't. I was hoping it was actually Resident Evil Village and people were confusing with that. No, it's it's Resident Evil 4. This this source pretty much and this is a, a legit schedule that got that got leaked. You know, this is from Capcom itself. So this is legit. Resident Evil 4 is happening. And you know, rumors since since last year have been saying it's happening and apparently it's being it's gonna be done or is it's being done now by the guys who did Resident Evil 3 remake, which is oh boy, it's worrying. So apparently that's coming out in the fourth quarter of 22, but apparently there's another rumor saying it's coming out in uh, 23 instead now, so I don't know what's going on with that. Um, personally, I don't really care for a remake of Resident Evil 4, like the, 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 the game we have is already good by itself. Personally, personally, I would prefer, I would, basically I would prefer what they did with RE2 and RE3 and I would prefer it to be a reimagining, but mostly I, I just want the story to be different. I don't like the original Quarry 4 storyline. Like, if 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 they're gonna reimagine this game, I want it to be shorter. Not too short though. I don't want anything what they I don't want what they did with Resident Evil 3 remake. I want it to be a good I want it to be a good 10 hour game. 10 to 15 hour game. Um, you know, get rid of Ashley, or if you're gonna include her, uh, I guess uh, make her be able to news a gun or, 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 or melee attacks or something, basically turn into Moira basically, don't, you know, don't just have it be this useless damsel in distress, uh, focus more on the relationship with Leon and Krauser, like introduce that character a bit more early instead of just randomly popping up towards the end and be like, huh, hello Leon, long time no see, like who the hell are you? Like develop that relationship and maybe put a twist where it's reveal he's the bad guy, whatever, and then have us fight him several times, you know, make him the worst girl in that game basically, um, connect it to connect it to the previous games, connect it to Umbrella, connect uh, Salazar uh, to, to Spencer or something, connect the Lost Plagas, like they, you know, to a Nemesis or um, whatever, just connect it more to the main storyline, make Osmond Sadler an Umbrella scientist, uh, maybe cut Salazar out and, and, and replace him with uh, uh, Spencer instead and or, some, or something, you know, cut off the castle and replace it with a Spencer mansion. I don't know, like, something like that, do you know what I mean? Because the, I don't like Resident Evil 4's plot, I really don't. I find it to be really, really, like, compared to all the other Resident Evil games, I find that to be the most insulting, stupidest one next to Resident Evil 0. Like, those are the two ones I hate when it comes to plot, Jesus. But, yeah, it's confirmed. It's confirmed to come. Uh, apparently there's a Resident Evil 4 VR game also coming out, so that's, that's very weird. So there's a VR version coming out, and then there's this remake, unless this is... The Resident Evil 4 VR game. It's all over the place, man. Like it's all over the place. Then apparently we got an uh, Only More Shoe, shoe uh, Only More Shoe game coming out. I've never played those again. Um, I don't know what those are about. Uh, sword fighting games, or whatever. Apparently it's it's the next one is called New York, and it's coming out for again uh, towards the end of 22. I might I might be interested in that because that's that's a franchise I never got into. Um, Continuing on, we got more Monster Hunter games, uh, Shield, Monster Hunter 6 for for you know early 23. Here's our third Resident Evil title. This one is this one is weird. Uh, it's called Biohazard Apocalypse. Now obviously that's Resident Evil. Biohazard is the Japanese name. So this one's called Biohazard Apocalypse and it's supposed to come out in the third quarter of 23. Don't know what this is. I'm assuming, I'm assuming this is the original Resident Evil 8 that was being planned because if you guys know, Revelations 3 is Resident Evil 8, you know, is Resident Evil Village. The, the game that we're getting next year, it, you know, called Resident Evil Village was originally Revelations 3 and apparently it was so good and, and impressive that uh, the heads decided to throw more funds into it and make it into a mainline title so it's no longer a spin-off or a side game. But uh, there are reports that the Resident Evil 8 game was being made at the same time and that got uh, sort of scrapped or left over. So basically, if that was supposed to be 8, it's no longer 8 and this Revelations 3 became 8. So then, you know, the assumption is maybe Resident Evil 8, the original Resident Evil 8, is going to become the new Revelations 3 or the new Resident Evil 9. And this is what Apocalypse, you know, Resident Evil Apocalypse could be. This could potentially be 9. Also, you got to keep in mind with the with the, the, the naming, because Capcom I think have said they want to move away from the numbering of the titles and they want to give it like subtitles and that like they did with 7 and, and 8, like essentially it's got subtitles but it's got like the, the numbering 
or in a, in a room or whatever in there. So you know, like with, with Seven, it was called Resident Evil Biohazard, and it had like a Seven in there. And Resident Evil Village, it, it, it's 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 Resident Evil Eight, but it's technically Resident Evil Village, but it's got the Eight numeral in this. And with I'm assuming Res Resident Evil Nine, it's going to continue. I don't know how you would fit the Nine in there. Like uh, some people have have done this thing with it, where it's like um, where. <laughs> I don't know if it's if it's the Y, like they've done the Y and it's like the 9, whatever, but <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm honestly expecting more like an X and an I or whatever, or an I and an X. I don't know, like, I don't see it, but okay, whatever. Continuing on, uh, Captain Commander, Street Super Street Fighter 6, Jesus Christ. Uh, there's, like, to let you know now, there's going to be three different versions of that game apparently coming out consecutively every year, starting from 22. Uh, then there's a new game, a new seed, I don't know what that is, for 24. Uh, Final Fight Remake, don't know what that is, never heard of it before. Power Stone Remake, now apparently that's the game that the director for Devil May Cry made originally and after he's done Dragon's Dogma 2 he's going to be probably working on this remake. So then that would explain why there's not going to be a Devil May Cry 6 or whatever. He's going to be busy working on those two games and maybe when that's done then, we'll, then he'll start working on a freaking, well, as you guessed it, a uh, Devil May Cry game. Um, Continuing on, uh, New B, don't know what that is, uh, some rumours are that this could be another Resident Evil game, don't know, I mean, uh, are, the, are the letters supposed to stand for a different game, I'm not sure, uh, Ultra, like I said, Ultra Street Fighter 6, yeah, whatever, coming towards the end of 24, apparently, now this one's the most interesting, and I'm going to leave, the, the, and it's, the, it's pretty much the best one, save the best one for last, because this one is bonkers and unexpected, so guys, we got Resident Evil Outrage uh, coming at the end of 21. We got Resident Evil 4 Remake uh, coming in uh, at the end of 22 or potentially 23. We got Resident Evil Apocalypse for 23. Um, and finally, we got. <laughs> I, I can't believe if this is real or not, but it is, the schedule is legit. Resident Evil Hunk. Now, yeah, Resident Evil. Now, apparently, the, the Hank is, is spelled a H A N K, but in, in, in Japan, that's how his name is actually spelled. It's Hanku, so H A N K U, Hanku, and not, not Hunk, H U N K. Plus, um, I don't know if people ever realize this, but uh, Hunk, you know, the way we say Hunk, that's a code name, and, it, and in, in I, don't know, I don't know where this is, I don't know if this was in the archives or not, but apparently, the at least from what I know, from my knowledge, from years of uh, playing and keeping to terms with the series, uh, Hunk is a code name and it stands for Human Unit Never Killed. Okay, that's his code name, Human Unit, you know, Human Unit Never Killed slash Mr. Reaper slash Mr. Death. So, that, that's a code name basically, but yeah, apparently that's, that's, that's the uh, Resident Evil game for, for 24 apparently, um, which is weird, it's like, and it's not surprising because if you guys remember, they were supposed to make a Hunk game for the original Resident Evil 3. That was the original Resident Evil 3 where you get to play as Hunk and you're on a ship and it gets infected, etc, etc. And then that got scrapped in favour of the Resident Evil 3 Nemesis game that we got. And then I think a few years later for Revelations 1, again, they tried to do Hunk again. If you remember the original uh, trailer for Revelations 1, the announcement trailer, you know, you had the two Chris's and Jill and you in you know when it, when the fast cuts were going and that, and that version also had zombies I believe but when the fast cuts going you get this one glimpse of, of basically of basically Hunk in, in in the trailer and he he's in that trailer Hunk is in that trailer and again that took place on the ship and it felt like that was a concept they took from the original concept that they wanted to do with Hunk on a ship and they, and they were going to do it for Revelations one then they scrapped it and we ended up with the game that we got and now after all these years apparently they want to make a Hunk game. Um, which is crazy, like, I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all for it if it's gonna be a horror slash action game, I'm all for that. But, um, <sighs> seriously, like, after like, what, 20, 24, three years, they're finally gonna give us a hunk game? Like, this guy is shrouded in mystery. We don't know crap about him. And the only, the last bit of info we have on his character, and, and we don't even know if it's 100% canon or not, is, is Umbrella Corpse, where you play as this guy, and it's assumed that it's actually the original Hunk because it, you know that you know during during the campaign mode for that game you got the people in the background saying no is this it couldn't be and then the trophy itself you know one of the trophies on lock is literally called the Return of the Grim Reaper so the 
the assumption is that the character you play in that game is the original Honk, or at least someone similar to him. Don't know, it's never been confirmed, but, um, but and Umbrella Corpse, by the way, is canon. It is 100% canon. Yeah, um, you know, Capcom themselves even confirmed this, that is a canon game. <laughs> Which is, yeah, again, it boggles my mind, and, and it's one I haven't played. It's only something I've watched online, I read the files on, but what, what, whatever. But yeah, um, it's crazy. It's crazy. We're getting four Resident Evil games. Four Resident Evil games confirmed. Keep in mind, some of these might not even be made, okay? Because because of the schedule release uh, leak, whatever, a lot of things are probably going to change massively, okay? For starters, we, we 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 know Resident Evil 4 is is in development, okay? Because the rumors for that game were there since since last year, so that is 100% confirmed. And Dos Gollum himself has even said that game is made, is being planned, and he, he even confirmed. A Resident Evil Outrage saying he was aware of it, so that, that game is definitely legit and that's supposed to come out at the end of 21 next year. So I'm assuming that's going to be the Battle Royale game, I'm assuming. We're getting Resident Evil 8, you know, the single player game, and then we're going to get like some sort of multiplayer towards the end of that. And then we're getting another single player game of Resident Evil 4 Remake the year after that, or maybe 23. After that, we have two more Resident Evil games, Apocalypse and Hunk. Now, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm all, I'm all for assuming that Apocalypse is the original Resident Evil they were working on, so I'm thinking that's that one. And Hunk might not even see the, might not even see, you know, the day. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking if there's one game they're probably going to cancel, it's going to be that because like, it, if like it feels like twice they've tried to make that work and they've they've never succeeded. But yeah, overall the point is, uh, at the moment we we have at least two confirmed. From, from like sources that are definitely definitely coming and then uh, Apocalypse maybe maybe is the original Resident Evil 8 being worked on maybe it's not and, and Hunk which are 50-50 now they're gonna be made or are still being made or are gonna come out eventually don't know but yeah um, I'm annoyed I'm annoyed I'm, I'm annoyed we we aren't getting a Dino Crisis remake or a sequel and I'm also more annoyed at the fact that the remake in Resident Evil 4 first instead of Cold Veronica, okay? I'd rather see Cold Veronica. I think a lot of the fans would rather see Cold Veronica done because that is the actual true Resident Evil 4 of the series. And it's one that a lot of fans didn't play and yes, they've ported that game. To be fair, they, they, they've only done that online. They've only ported the game online onto like, uh, P, P, I think the PS4 network, the PSN and, and, and other online stores. You can't get that game as a physical game anymore unless you got a PS2 and, and you find the PS2 version or the Dream, Dreamcast version I think to play. And and even then it's the PS2 version you want to play because that's the actual canon game because that uh, Resident Evil Call Veronica X, that's the that's like the director's car isn't it? That's the one you want to get, that's like the extended edition. Uh, yeah it's crazy, it's crazy that the, it's crazy that we're not getting that first, like why not? Like, what? What? We're getting... I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel about this. Uh, I honestly don't know how to feel. At the moment, I'm just I'm just hoping Resident Evil 8 is going to be on the PS4 so I can actually play it day one when it comes out. Because otherwise, I'm going to be waiting a good year because if, if the release date is April, I'm, I'm, not getting a P I'm not getting a PS5 until then. Unless I get desperate. Unless I get really desperate, in which case... Okay, I get, I get, I get a PS5. What games am I going to go on? There's, there's hardly any games out for it that I want to play. Like, like Resident Evil 8 is probably the only one I would, I would buy a console for. Um, but yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy that we got four Resident Evil games planned. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we get, we start getting some news maybe next year at E3. We get some news. Uh, definitely, definitely, Resident Evil 4 is going to get announced at E4. I think next year. And as for the other ones, yeah, they're probably going to keep those quiet for now. But, who man, a lot of these, a lot of these games would have been massive, amazing surprises for for game shows. And these guys have just killed. They've killed the hype, basically. People are going to be hyped regardless. But uh, the initial, the, in, the initial uh, feeling of sitting there watching this and then and then having that be announced, and like how how amazing would that have been for a lot of people? But uh, yeah, that's. It's a shitty world we live in, that's how it is, shit happens, but hey, whatever man, whatever. Personally, like I said, I can't wait. 
I'm hoping these games are good, but for now, I just want to focus on Resident Evil 8, like that's what I want to focus on, on Village, and I'm hoping Village is good, from what I've heard, it's supposed to be amazing, so fingers crossed, it's, it's going to be great, Resident Evil 7 was great, I'm hoping that's great, so, yeah, anyway guys, that's my video for today, I hope you liked it, as always, like and subscribe, whatever, and I shall see you when I shall see you, take care and bye.